Hi there, I am Abrar. In basic aerodynamic definitions, today we will study what is chord line and what is chord length. To do that, let us consider an airfoil like this. So, normally, people think chord line is just a line joining the leading edge and trailing edge. If this is the chord line, which may be true or may not be, if this is the chord line, then what is this? This line also joins the leading edge and trailing edge. So whether the line 1 or the line 2, which one is the chord line? So this brings in a huge confusion for a student to understand precisely which one is the chord line. So in order to get the exact thing, one must know the proper definition of a chord line. Okay. To figure out that, using the leading edge curvature of the aerofile, one can draw the circle like this and we can easily locate the center of the nose radius circle. So this is a nose radius circle. Fine. Now there can be only one line which joins the leading edge and trailing edge and passing through the center of the nose radius circle. Such a line is called chord line. Okay. Having found the chord line, one can easily find the distance between the leading edge and the trailing edge like this. If we find the distance between the leading edge and trailing edge, this is what is called chord length and it is denoted by a symbol C. Now we know exactly what is a chord line. So now let us study what is a wingspan. It is denoted by a letter B. To do that, let us consider a wing like this. So, wingspan is defined as the distance between the one tip to the other tip. So, the distance between the tip to tip distance is what is called as the wingspan and it is denoted with a symbol B. Now we know what is a chord line. So in basic aerodynamic definitions let us study what is angle of attack. The angle of attack is denoted by a symbol alpha. Let's say we know the chord line now of the aerofoil if we have a relative wind coming like this, let's say this is the relative wind. Okay, so let's say flow is coming with a relative velocity V infinity. So if I extend the chord line like this, the angle between the chord line and the relative wind is called alpha, which is angle of attack. So very often people think that angle of attack is always angle between the horizontal flow and the chord line, which is wrong. Okay. To understand it more clearly, let's consider three different cases which would help us to understand what is basically the relative wind and the angle of attack. Okay, So many people think the angle of attack in this case is usually they think it is zero, it is greater than zero and it is negative which is absolutely wrong. Okay, So what is basically relative wind? Relative wind comes in a direction opposite to the motion. Okay, so you can stop the aircraft and pass the relative wind in the opposite direction. So here we have three cases considered. One is the flight in straight and level flight. The second is the climbing flight. Then the third is the gliding flight. In these three cases, I have brought the relative wind in the directions opposite to the flight path. Okay, so you have here relative wind 
here you have relative wind whereas in a gliding case relative wind will be coming like this so in all the three cases I showed the chord line of the mean aerodynamic chord and the relative wind so the angle of attack is the angle between the relative wind and the chord line so this is alpha which is greater than zero this is alpha which is greater than zero and this is alpha which is greater than zero in fact I can take the angle of attack to be same in all the three cases that is also quite possible but nobody is going to blow the horizontal wind like this there is no genie like thing which God will send to blow the wind like this many people do this mistake in their learning process one should not do that okay I hope that gives you an idea about what is relative wind and angle of attack clearly thank you